Hello, I'm Jessica Lauer again from Sweden. I'm a director for To Garbo and Lenin, short experimental film. And I'm happy to join you on this uh, Q&A. Uh, I, <laughs> I will try to answer your questions. Uh, starting with the number one about inspiration and production. And uh, I would like to say that the inspiration to my movie was when I uh, learned that uh, both uh, Greta Garbo and uh, Lenin had visited the same department store in Stockholm during almost the same time. Well, some years in between, but whatever. And uh, I got this idea that uh, because I had never really uh, thought of them in the same universe, even though they were actually um, living in the same age and uh, at sort of the same part of the world, and uh, still they seemed so completely different from each other. So uh, I was really curious uh, to see what they could have to tell each other and talk about, and that's the start point for my film. And uh, I can also say that the style is some kind of uh, half uh, mixed media animation and uh, still with uh, filmed uh, actors. And uh, my goal was to sort of, uh, my inspiration was uh, Art Nouveau. And uh, that was also the main uh, style for that era that the film is uh, playing in and uh, i also wanted to mimic uh, colorized silent movies and try to make a mix between these uh, two uh, elements so that was my inspiration uh, the production went uh, fantastically well uh, i've never really uh, experienced a production that <laughs> went so smooth with so uh, competent people that just loved what they were doing and uh, fantastic actors. Uh, the woman who plays Greta Garbo is my daughter, so I'm already very used to direct her. <laughs> no, but she's really good, I think. And uh, Simon, who plays Lenin, he's uh, a well-known actor in Sweden, and uh, I just love his works. And uh, the whole team was just uh, fantastic. I, I, I am still stunned all these years afterwards. Question number two, how I see the relationship between cinema and uh, internet. Uh, I am positively surprised. Uh, I've had uh, films on festivals uh, during this year that usually used to be uh, in cinema, but has been uh, online, of course. And uh, we have got so much more uh, viewers and uh, audience when we put it uh, out at internet. So uh, in, that, in that case, it's a good thing because it, it's easier to spread it. But on the other hand, uh, nothing compares to a good old fashioned film festival when you can be there and uh, network and uh, talk to people. And um, yeah, that's absolutely something I miss a lot. Question number three, how do I imagine the future of the seventh art film? Well, that's a very tricky question. It's so hard to know. Everything goes so fast now and uh, everything evolves in different directions and the uh, internet is uh, evolving like crazy and, uh, uh, and all these Netflix TV series thing just uh, explodes all over. And of course that's a market, uh, that's a big market. I'm, um, yeah, I, I don't know, <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, I really, really hope that uh, there will still be a place for, uh, for uh, small independent movies and films and uh, 
uh, not only for big blockbusters and uh, things that just are made for making money because uh, then everything will die out you always need art to to come up with new stuff and you need that all the time in in film so uh, i really don't have any answers right now it's so up in the blue but i have hope hope for film to go on go on and uh, entertain us for many many years thank you <laughs>